All right, Guardian. Um, on Guardian, we one tank, five healed. Higher to us, every single other guild, two tanks, six healed. Um, so the way you do this fight is this fight has a six minute hard enrage, but the soft, rain, soft enrage of the fight varies depending on how many purging protocols you do. So if you six healed, you are obviously able to do a lot more purging protocols. So you could extend the fight time from like five minutes and 20 seconds to six minutes almost. Um, our strategy was the opposite. We said, we know we can kill this boss in five minutes and 20 seconds. So we're just going to one tank and bring a lot of DPS. They hard nerfed the one tank strategy and now you need a lot more immunities to pull it off. I do not recommend it. Just use two tanks. That's what we did in our reclear. Um, you can either two tank five heal or two tank six heal, depending on your DPS. If your DPS is on the lower side, then you want to six heal and do more purging protocols. If your DPS is on the higher side, you can five heal and do fewer purging protocols. With our strategy, we five heal and our purging protocols are two, three, two, um, and then as many as you can. So on the first set of purging, we only do two. On the second set, we do three to extend some immunities. Um, on the third set, again, we only do two. And then the fourth set is the last one of the encounters. So you either kill the boss or you die at some point. Um, healers that are very strong on this fight, Disc Priest, very, very strong because most of the damage happens during purging. Um, Holy Paladins, very strong because they do a ton of DPS. And then you need some sort of like consistent healer. Resto Shaman is great for it um, to kind of prevent people from dying in between the purging protocols. So these are the three cores that you have to move to. Um, tank the boss on pull, you just tank it in between. Your whole raid stacks close. Or is this side? So that if you ever bait a beam, it gets baited away from the core, not directly towards it. And that means that the three people with the debuff just go one, two, yeah, two, and three, like this. Um, and all of them hit the core. Now, once you're actually moved into the core, you this debuff, if I can grab it, goes to the opposite side. And the whole raid stacks into this little sliver. Um, you actually have a little less space than I show here on the graphic, but you get the idea. And again, here you bait the frontal away towards the entrance. Then you run through um, to the other side. Then once it's over, you move the boss between these two and you just mirror the positioning. So you do that. Um, your circles are now going to go to this one. So you go one, two, and three. Um, once the raid has to move into this one, again, the inner one moves to that side, raid stacks here. You bait towards the entrance. Then once the frontal goes off, you run through, then melt down, you run to the next one. So you get the idea with the movement. It's very, very straightforward and simple. Um, most wipes on this fight will happen to you missing energy on one of the cores. So you need your circle needs to be overlapping the core quite a bit for it to count. Um, if you miss, then it's pretty much like go again because all your timings are going to be messed up. Uh, we did not use a weak aura for this. I know both Limit and Echo did. Uh, they just told them to go left, right, or center. We just YOLO'd it and the boss was easy enough that eventually it worked. Um, so that's how you deal with that. Okay, um, I think we just take a look at this fight and it will make a lot more sense in practice. So for assignments, you need to have immunities assigned to the tank soaks. Um, you, you need to have three immunities assigned to each one because you need to split the tank soak with at least four players. So you have three immunities plus the tank. On the first one, I believe we went 
Um, you can map this out however you want. Um, if your immunity is two minutes, you can go on every other tank soak. So you can go on one and three or two and four. If your immunity is more than two minutes, then you need at least two tank soaks in between to make it work. Um, so for example, as a red paladin, I didn't have a high enough conduit that gave me CDR and bubble. So I went on one and I went on four. Um, and that's the same with like demon hunters, mages, um, hunters. So you just need to make sure that you have three immunities assigned to each tank soak. Other than that, is just pull the boss until people get all their circles on the cores and you kill it. Uh, one note, when you pull the boss, make sure you pull the boss from the bridge area. Because if you pull the boss from like behind the core and someone pulls early, he instantly walks into the core and you wipe. So everyone stacks up behind the boss. Just on the left, left leg here. On the first one, it doesn't matter too much. Threat neutralization goes out. They all run to the core, hit it. After the first threat neutralization, you get a beam. So this one doesn't really matter how you uh, bait it. After the beam, you get another threat neutralization. Then you get the first tank mechanic. First tank mechanic, three immunities go in. So all three immunes go in, and you need to wait there. As the tank mechanic is being cast, the second tank taunts then moves into this um, in, onto the immunities. Second tank taunts, moves onto the immunities. Then the immunities move out. Second tank takes the second tank hit. Right after this, you will start getting purging protocols. You know, you get a threat neutralization, then purging. So again, these just need to hit the core and you do purging. On the first one, if you're five healing, only do two. If you're six healing, you can do three. Second hit, then you move the boss into the zone as the third hit is about to go off. So there, there was a second and a half. Circles, make sure to hit the core. As you can see, everyone's baiting on one side of the boss. Then we all move through. After you move through, the core will be empty. So you move out for meltdown. Uh, this is a great place to use personals on this meltdown because the, the AOE rate hits from purging usually are, are covered by healer cooldowns. So again, on this one, we're stacked behind the boss. Then you get your second uh, tank combo. This again, you need three immunities. For this one, we use Holy Paladins. Another set of threat neutralization, move out, move through the beam. This one, this beam is super important that you bait it correctly. So you get tank combo, then threat neutralization and beam at the same time. And you need to make sure that no one is standing on the inside of the boss towards the energy core. Because if they are, they might bait the beam towards the core, and then the threat neutralizations are fucked. So threat neutralization, bait, move through. That's it. Nothing else to it. Um, the sentries, so there's a lot of random damage. You can see the raid's health, like, constantly dipping. The sentries can be very cruel. You can get targeted, like, four times in a row and go from full health to zero in about a second and a half. So if you ever hit, like, sub-30% health, healthstone health pot or something. That is the only thing that I would healthstone and health pot on this fight. Everything else, I would either have healer cooldowns to carry me or my personal. But the sentries randomly hitting you, that is what hellstones and health pots are for. On this third one, we commit a few more healer cooldowns because we need extra time for cooldowns to come up later on in the fight. So we do three hits instead of two. After you do your three hits, you move into the core. Again, everyone baits beam one way, then you move through. After you move through, then you will get meltdown, so you run out. Again, this is a great spot to personal. Now from here on until the next core is the most dangerous part of the fight. As you can see, I'm e even like spot healing people randomly if they're getting threat neutralization just because of how much damage they're taking. Um, so hybrid classes can spot heal players, um, but generally you do want to make sure that you get a lot of damage. 
Then you get your third tank combo. Again, you need three immunities. Stacked up, smack the boss. Threat neutralization and beam. Just like on the previous one, they happen at the same time. You need to make sure you bait the beam correctly. Otherwise, you will screw over the threat neutralization people. Threat neutralization. Again, just make sure you hit the core with them. Nothing else matters. And then we get our third purging. On this purging, we just do two hits, then we move in. Hit. Second hit. And then we move in. Threat neutralizations again go out, and you bait beam away from threat neutralizations. This one it's a little later. Beam, run through, then you get meltdown, and you run out. Right here, again, personal, great spot to use. These threat neutralizations just need to move out of the raid. There's nothing else you do. You stand still and you smack the boss. Pretty soon here, you get your last set of tank uh, combo. And this one, if you're soaking on the first one, your immunity will be back up so you can soak again, which is what I did here. Bam. And you just need to finish the boss before you die. So again, you get bombs, move out, you get beam, dodge it. And then once the boss's energy is depleted, you will start purging protocols again. You can actually live about four um, and maybe until the fifth hit if you use immunities correctly. So the first three, you want your immunity classes to just survive with personals, health pots, DRs, healer cooldowns. Then once the fourth one hits, you want immunities to use their cooldown right before the fourth one hits, and they will get killed by the fifth one. And if you have a Necro Lord, they will survive an extra 10 seconds. Um, so that's what this fight is. Obvi honestly, it's a very easy fight. It most wipes will be to just missing a circle on the orb or on the core. As soon as you get a pool where all circles hit the cores, you you will you will just. Kill it. That's it. 